Okay, ladies and gents, it is freaking cold out here, but regardless, I gotta get out to my range and actually practice. So, basically, the last video that I did, I was talking about how it's good to get out and practice one-handed, and I wanted to kind of expand on that a little bit, as with kind of showing you a little bit of honesty as far as what it's like when I go out. It's not like I'm perfect or anything, but the understanding of what you need to do in order to get better that's the difference It's actually committing yourself to action instead of talk but uh, with all that said one of the big things that I've actually talked about before is you're always going to shoot with at least one hand whether that be your support hand your strong hand and yeah most of the time they want you to shoot with both hands and most of the time you're gonna be able to do that however I would not want to be in a situation where I have to shoot with one hand and be like crap I wish I would have practiced this before because I don't know how I'm gonna handle the recoil on my gun so that's one thing that I want to practice today also it does build some things it builds grip strength and it builds a good connection between the process of controlling your physical uh, your physical uh, motion and basically controlling your mind like preventing anxiety from controlling your physical uh, outcome I guess you could say because when you get anxiety about pulling the trigger without moving the gun you're scared that you will move the gun and inherently you want to get that over as quick as possible and you think speed is your security in that sense that's a big flaw and we need to overcome that it's simple but not easy it's just simply pulling the trigger without moving the gun when you have your sights where you want them and that is the biggest challenge that we spend a long time overcoming because we are doing something that is a completely unnatural we are using one of our digits alone without any sympathetic movement these are all pretty much connected in tendons down here so it does cause sympathetic movement you can't really get away from that necessarily however over time your tendons can stretch out to where you can actually pull the trigger without too much sympathetic movement so unless you're practicing this all the time you're not going to get that kind of stretch in your tendons you're not going to get that physical alteration um, to your body genetically we're just not meant for that really so some people may be gifted more than others but anyways that's an argument for another time that uh, somebody who's a little more well versed in anatomy can discuss but anyways I'm gonna just go ahead and demo my efforts to be more proficient with one hand support and strong hand I'm gonna start off with strong hand and on double action that's a pretty good strain Okay, that was pretty good. I hit the torso first and then I was doing headshots. That head is about this big and I'm about seven yards away. So it's not all that bad and I was actually shooting faster than I thought I would. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and reload here. My hands are getting really cold so I think it's probably time to switch to my support hand. This is going to be ugly. and. There was one that was actually, I grazed the top, and my back berm kind of illustrated that. So I guess I'll go ahead and zoom in on the target. I'm aiming for torso at first with the, my support hand because I'm not too confident. Hits matter, and I need to be able to see where I'm hitting in relation to see how much I'm screwing up. So let me go ahead and adjust so I can... Wow, I can't even feel the adjustment, so... Uh, yeah, this hand needs to go in the pocket for a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, that wasn't all too bad, but, you know, I need to work on it, uh, work on it a lot more with the support hand. One of the keys to actually shooting well one-handed is just crushing that grip. Now, I have a crush grip uh, with my strong hand that's actually pretty good, and I don't really shake the gun. A lot of people say, well, squeeze the gun to the point where you're basically shaking, then back off a little bit, hold it firm. 
I don't believe in that. I believe in holding it as tight as possible and practicing trying to crush that grip with both hands and with one hand. That builds grip strength. The stronger you hold the gun, the more you're going to make it motionless, and that way the slide can cycle without beating your uh, hand out of uh, moving your hand around. So you let the gun function and you actually act as a vice. That's the best way to also help with reliability in your pistol as well. No limp wristing and all that other stuff and it also helps with recoil management. You're strengthening the wrist and such and such and such. But uh, after doing shooting like this or practicing your grip strength, you need to do stretches not because you're trying to help your tendons and strength in your forearms necessarily, but the joints. See, I practiced a lot to the point where I'm actually having pain in this area right here and the more I do stretches and the more time I give it typically that's it's actually doing a lot better but you got to be careful about that and don't make the same mistake don't over train your body because your joints they're uh, they're unforgiving you have a lot of bones in your in your wrist here and you don't want to mess them up so anyways that's just an example of me shooting strong hand and support hand it's really not that much but i figured i would get it on video to kind of show you that i'm not perfect all the time my support hand really sucks i couldn't even really tell all the time if i was hitting uh, i couldn't tell really if i was going to the left or right but i think i was high into the right which is okay i guess but that's kind of healing the gun with your palm so anyways there's stuff that i have to work on dry and i have to work on my grip strength because my recoil recoil control with that was horrible so anyways, with all that said, if you actually have to shoot one-handed at any time, you're going to want to practice good positioning and also good bracing. You're going to have to practice that coordination with one hand and bracing it and getting used to it to lower your anxiety a bit, get more comfortable with what the gun's going to do and the amount of interaction you actually have to have with the pistol in order to get good results. So I highly encourage you to get out and do this as well. Put your ego aside and just, just work on it. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you around in another video. You guys have a good one, and stay warmer than I am.